Well, we're on our way out uh, to the white sail stand tonight. Uh, first night of sitting. Uh, the weather's looking good. It's been cooling off a little bit in the evening, so we're hoping these deer are moving. Uh, area I'm going to be hunting today is a pretty familiar area to myself. I've been hunting it for about seven or eight years now, and uh, the bushes, I, I think I have the runs pretty much pegged down. I've got a few cameras set out in the bush, and uh, we've been moving them around weekly, uh, trying to get a pattern on some of these deer. Uh, a couple of deer we might be looking at tonight uh, are a couple four points that I've been looking at. Uh, the one nice big heavy four pointer, uh, good mass, tines are not bad, they're a little short. And the other one, uh, the one that we really want to be after is uh, he's got it all. He's got pretty decent mass and uh, G2s and G3s are into that 11, 12 inch range. Uh, just by camera and I'm, we're thinking probably into the gross 160 range. So if all goes well tonight uh, and my cameras aren't lying, uh, we should have a, an opportunity at one of them. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to get into the stand and uh, he's been coming in around 5.30 uh, and sometimes at around 7.30. So we're looking at 4 o'clock right now and uh, hopefully get into the stand and uh, get right onto his doorstep. Uh, I don't think he's betting too far from where we're going to be hunting, uh, so we got to get in there quiet and get set up and hopefully he presents a shot to us.
That's the big four we've been after. Oh, wow. I was watching him just out in, this, in the back of the bush, rubbing his velvet, and, and then I lost sight of him. I, I couldn't see him. Oh, wow. My heart's just racing right now. Lots of pictures of this buck. Uh, made the decision that he was he was mature and this is where he was going to be uh, this size. Just hope we made a good shot on him. Looks like I might have might have hit him a little bit high, but we'll see. I heard him. I think I heard him crash there. So, oh wow, the white carbon matrix did it again. Finding pretty good blood so far. It's, there's actually a pretty good trail uh, down here. It's, it looks like he's been dragging a little bit. There's a few more spots there. I heard him crash just over here somewhere, so I should be in pretty close. Oh, yeah, there's good blood there on that, that branch there. Oh, right on. Oh, wow. Well, this has been, uh, I can say, my quickest whitetail season to date. It's September 4th today, I believe. Um, lots of pictures of this guy. Uh, we've had lots of deer coming into the into this bush and to the cameras. Uh, just decided that this four point was uh, one that we were gonna take. I uh, had a couple pictures from past years, past couple of years, and uh, he's this is gonna be as big as I figure he's gonna gonna get. He's he had bigger G2s a couple of years ago. Uh, now he's growing the G3s, as you can see. They they're well up there. They'd be I'm looking probably into that 12 12 range. Uh, nice long beams on him. Uh, kicker off of his right G2. And I could say this is my uh, first ever full velvet whitetail, uh, so it's <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty happy about this one. My heart was racing in the stand. I know I just quickly watched over the video and I didn't quite get the shot on film. Uh, there was a tree in between the camera and the kill shot, uh, but <laughs> what it was was the deer's head was actually, and my head were covered by the tree as well, so it gave me an opportunity to draw on them and, and make that good shot, so sometimes you have to make those decisions oh yeah this is I'm just I'm, I'm super thrilled I already have a nice place on the wall for him he's gonna make a really nice shoulder mount so excellent deer I'm I'm, I'm pumped about it